Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. You might have come across a previous video where I shared with you my excitement about the upcoming features on Gcash where you can now buy crypto, global stocks, and Philippine stocks. Now since Gcash is taking its time in launching these products, I've had some time to think about these features and really start fleshing it out more. I'm wondering if it will have the same value proposition of G-Invest. I'm starting to think about its limitations and what are the things that perhaps can really bring it to the next level. In this video, I'm going specifically into one of the upcoming features and it's buying Philippine stocks through Gcash. There are three things that I'm specifically looking out for with the new feature of buying Philippine stocks through Gcash. Now checking on Gcash's positioning of G-Invest and also how it's positioned itself to offer global stocks through Filipinos. What we've come to notice is that Gcash tries to give the best value so that it's easy for us to buy into these investment products. If you recall, G-Invest launched with the tagline that you can invest for as low as 50 pesos. Now checking the press releases for Gcash global stocks, they are also positioning this product to be offering global stocks to the Philippine market for as low as $1. Well, I'm wondering if Gcash has tricks up its sleeve, tricks in the good kind of way. I'm starting to wonder, can they offer Philippine stocks also at this ultra low value? With the limited information I have about the legalities, I actually don't think that Gcash will be able to offer Philippine stocks at the same low value. Here in the Philippines, fractional shares isn't a thing. So in the US and global markets, you are able to buy less than one share so this would be fractional shares and this is the instrument that enables us to be investing as low as $1 in Google, Tesla, or Amazon, or whatever US stock that you want to buy. As of my most current knowledge, the Philippine stock market does not have these partial or fractional shares. So to be consistent with the messaging of Gcash, offering mutual funds and UITFs for as low as 50 pesos. I honestly don't think that Gcash will be able to offer Philippine stocks for as little as 50 pesos. Another thing about the Philippine stock market, we usually are buying and selling stocks at fixed numbers or a minimum lot. Let's say you want to buy Globe Telecom. So the minimum board lot for these stocks are at 5 shares. So more or less, you are looking to spend 10,000 pesos as your minimum buy-in into these blue chip stocks. So I'm really curious how Gcash will be positioning this feature of buying and selling Philippine stocks. Again, I don't think they can feature them for as low as 50 pesos. So I'm interested to see if Gcash will be positioning this product as something that anyone could buy into with these restrictions, minimum board lots, absence of fractional shares, and even a fixed broker commission. There has currently been no way to offer Philippine stocks at a cheap baseline value. I may be wrong, but I just don't see how Gcash can have this on par with G-Invest and Gcash Global Stocks. And lastly, another thing that I'm curious about, I'm wondering if Gcash can withstand the technical requirements of being able to trade with stocks real time. So we all know that Gcash tends to be a little clunky. Loading on the capacity to trade stocks real time would mean additional bandwidth in being able to load this into the Gcash app. So I'm actually wondering if Gcash will be able to accommodate real time trading, buying and selling of stocks, or will they be working with something that's similar to the G-Invest model where they are essentially just working with cutoff periods and not being able to define your entry and exit prices. So I'm really curious about how Gcash will attack this feature on offering Philippine stocks through the Gcash app. Excuse me for rambling and just sharing my thoughts on what this app could be. Gcash has teased us and has had these features on the app but still no launch inside. What do you think about these points? How do you think that Gcash will actually be offering Philippine stocks in the app? Share your opinions in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.